So when people are looking to move into a new market, there are a handful of variables that they are assessing to determine if that is a good place for them to live. Certainly one of the most important things that people are looking for all over the country is cost of living. And so in today's video, we're going to answer the question, what is the cost of living looking like in South Carolina? And more specifically, what is the cost of living looking like in my market, which is Florence, South Carolina? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And today we're going to look at some statistics that are going to answer that very question for you. So with no further ado, let's jump right in. And I'm going to put my glasses on so that I can see my screen. And we are going to look at some data because over here on this channel, we like data. Data is what we like. Now, Okay, so hopefully you are already receiving my free weekly market reports. If you're not, please contact me. My contact information is here, but it's also down in the description of the video. Reach out to me so that you can get these sent to you. They do arrive weekly and the data is updated weekly. Now, with that being said, as you see, I have typed in my market, which is the city of Florence, South Carolina. And what I want to specifically key in on for this video, just to simplify this and keep this video short and consolidated, but still get the point across, is this price per square foot? So the question that people want the answer to when they're considering moving to a new city in the country is what can I buy or what is the affordability? What am I going to be able to get for my money if I move to such and such city? And so what I've done is this. I went to chat GPT and I asked chat GPT to show me the top 10 cities to give me 10 cities that people are moving to increasingly since 2022 with populations of 90,000 or less. So this would give us comparable city sizes to Florence. And also I did 2022 because uh, this is when interest rates started to spike. And so I didn't want the data to be skewed or influenced by that in any kind of way. So that's why I chose 2022. And these are the 10 cities that ChatGPT gave us. So we're gonna look at these really quickly and then I'm gonna add a couple of bonus ones as well. So let's go back over here. And as you can see, the median price per square foot on a 90 day average has been in the 130s, around $140 per square foot for the Florence area. And also the other important statistic you'll wanna look at is the median rent. If you're going to be renting or considering renting or considering investing in rental property, $1,650 is the median rent in Florence right now. And that number is probably gonna to continue to go up because of some of the developments that are happening in our area, but we've already discussed that in other videos briefly. $136 per square foot is the median of what buying a house in Florence, South Carolina is going to cost you currently. Now, of course that is a median. And so that number would have some volatility, obviously, if you're looking in our area, but there's the median. Now let's go down the list and look at these. So first we've got Bozeman, Montana. So in Bozeman, Montana, the price per square foot is going to cost you $455. And if you're renting, you're looking at $2,500 median rent. So that's significantly higher. What's that? That number is about three times higher than our number of price per square foot. So it looks like Bozeman, Montana is extremely expensive. If you live in Bozeman, tell us uh, how expensive it is to live out there. All right. So next on our list is Bend, Oregon. I already know this is going to be high. Yeah, it's about the same thing. $433, dollars $2,800 median rent. Flagstaff, Arizona, $386 a square foot, $2,500 median rent. Asheville, North Carolina. I was just in Asheville recently. Beautiful place. Great food scene. However, price per square foot, $355, almost $2,500, $2,495 median rent. So, so far, these are significantly higher. $260 per square foot, still almost double. And the median rent's a little bit lower in Provo. But if you're buying you're still gonna pay about twice the amount on average for a house. Missoula, Montana. I'm gonna to go to view report. And remember guys, like I said, these reports are free. There's all kind of data in here. Fayetteville, Arkansas, 215 per square foot, 1875, so a little bit closer. Columbia, Missouri, 196 a square foot, 1475. So again, a pretty similar market, but still significantly higher. All right, Charlottesville, Virginia, 314, 24.5. Okay, so you can see these are all pretty significantly more expensive. So I got a couple of other ones that I know about. I know Huntsville, Alabama is also seeing some activity and growth. And it's a little bit closer, a little bit more comparable, but you see it's still significantly more expensive. I mean, when you're talking about $174 per square foot on average, 
and you're looking at, you know, two, three, four thousand square foot home, then that number starts to add up tremendously. And the median rent's about the same out there. It's a little bit higher. So still a little bit more expensive in Huntsville. Uh, and I want to throw in a couple of bonuses here. So a lot of people, a lot of people are moving to Greenville, South Carolina, which is our neighbor in the upstate. But as you can see, their price per square foot is about $100 higher per, and the rent's a little bit higher in the upstate. And then to swing to the other side, let's move over to the coast. A place that's seeing tremendous growth is Myrtle Beach. And so people are coming from all over to our area, also Florence. I mean, I have multiple people that I've worked with. The last two clients I've worked with have come from other parts of the state. One's out west, one's up north uh, in Pennsylvania. So, and this is just an example. We've got close friends that have come in from California. There are people that are from all over the country that are moving to our area, but a lot are also going to Myrtle Beach. And I want to point something out to you about this. And I hate to do this because I also serve Myrtle Beach, which is kind of a point that I'm about to make that I want you to think about that. But you see the price per square foot in Myrtle Beach is significantly higher. You've got all these beach homes, obviously skewing the number a little bit. But nonetheless, the price per square foot is higher in Myrtle Beach and the median rent is significantly higher in Myrtle Beach. And what I'm going to suggest to you is if you look at Florence, Myrtle Beach is only about slightly over an hour trip. And so I can serve the Myrtle Beach area because I'm so close. And so if you look at the Florence market, you can save significant money. And then with all that money that you're saving over a five to 10 year period, you can just go buy a beach house and then you can go down there on the weekend or for a vacation. So I just wanted to go over this high level overview of cost of living and affordability in our area just to show you guys if you're interested, if you're moving, you're looking for, you know, if you're open to moving anywhere in the country or if you're looking to move specifically to this area generally, a lot of people are coming to South Carolina and there's a variety of reasons for that. We're slowly covering a lot of those here on the channel, but affordability is a big thing that you're going to want to look at. And so when you're looking at specific cities, Greenville, Columbia, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, and Florence, I'm going to suggest to you that Florence is a very attractive option. So you have affordability. Also, if you go look at this video, then I showcase how we're so close within a 90 mile radius you have these other markets. So you have access to Charleston, you have access to Myrtle Beach, you have access to Columbia, you have access to Charlotte, North Carolina. And so you can look at that video to get some more insight about Florence from that standpoint. But as far as affordability goes, you're going to save money. Your money is going to go further moving to Florence. And you're not gonna miss out on as much as you may be concerned because Florence is such a developing market. And so if you wanna see some of the things that we have going on, then you wanna watch this playlist as we're showcasing and demonstrating the things that are happening in our area and in this local market, and not to mention the things that are coming in the near future. And so we've talked about a lot of that on this channel also. So if you wanna learn more about that, subscribe to the channel, go to these playlists that we already have set up and take a look around and then set your notifications so that you can see future information that we're gonna release in the future. So hey, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, that helps us out a lot. Like I said, subscribe to the channel for future information. And so if you would like more information about our local market and you wanna ask some more questions or if you're already looking to buy here and you need a realtor to work with, all of my contact information is down in the description of this video. Reach out to me, you can email me, you can call me or you can text me if you would like to and I will respond to you promptly. So I look forward to hearing from you and in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you soon.